Hi guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Kyra and you may notice that the background is a little bit different if you've been here before and that is because I got a treadmill finally. I am so excited, beyond excited to get moving with that. I've already done a couple of workouts on it. My husband really treated me to a very nice treadmill and I am so eternally grateful. So. As a result, however, my office has kind of gotten smaller or feels smaller and I did move my desk back a little bit. So not everything's kind of in frame as it usually is. So today's video, as you would have seen by the title is my If I Could Only Keep Five Foundations. This is a series that I've been doing following each gentle declutter in each category. I'm doing a If I Could Only Keep Five from that category so I can really tell you which products are my absolute favorites and the ones that I would keep if I could only keep five. So I use the term foundation lightly in this video. I'm not a full coverage girl for the most part. I really like a medium to light coverage. If you can hear Oliver, our golden over here snoring, well, it's nap time. So anyways, I'm going to kind of go from the least amount of coverage to the most amount of coverage here. Let's start with the CoverGirl Simply Ageless Skin Perfector Essence. This has 5% Bacuchiol, which is a plant-derived retinol alternative. And then it is called a Hydro Fresh Tint. I have the shade 20 Light and the shade 50 medium tan, and this is just so I can mix my perfect shade. I'm gonna use the deeper shade to show you what this looks like. Hopefully you'll be able to see that there are pigment severes in here. And what you have to do, if you haven't seen this before, is kind of work it on the back of your hand, or you can apply it with your fingers and just you know break up the capsules between your fingers before you apply. Otherwise, I really do recommend using a brush for this one. You're gonna be able to see that, you know, even though it's not nearly as sheared out as I would if this was going on like a foundation, you will be able to see that it still has quite a sheer coverage. The thing I love about this foundation, however, on those days where I really want a more no makeup makeup look, this one not only covers my bases in terms of the tint and everything, but it also is so hydrating and it's a light weight hydration, more like a gel hydration. And so it really sinks into the skin and it doesn't leave my skin overly dewy or tacky or anything like that which is good for me, not only for summer, but just because I'm an oily girl as it is. So I really do love this foundation or the Skin Tint Hydro Essence. I will say on this one, I feel like the price is steep. I believe the cheapest place I personally have found it was on Amazon, but do shop around. It feels like skincare, but it has some coverage to even out my skin. I do think it's a little bit buildable, especially if you apply with a brush, but brush or fingers work perfect with that one. Now let's talk about the one that I have on today, and I do feel like it's a really good color match for me right now, and that is my Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. It says hydrate, smooth, and correct, and I have shade four here. Full disclosure, I did receive this in PR, but I have items that were in PR and items that I purchased myself in this video, and I always give you my honest review. This is an amazing product. I remember absolutely loving it last summer when I received it. And you'll see that it, it's a little thinner than maybe some of your actual foundations or full foundations. But at the same time, it's, you know, it's got some tenacity to it. It's going to linger. 
and this is one that kind of reminds me of like MAC face and body and that is the more you work it into the skin especially with fingers like I'm doing now you'll see that the coverage actually is building up a little bit and that's just because of the formula and how it dries on the skin but it is absolutely stunning. Maybe a titch yellow for me. So I might try it with a dot of blue color corrector to adjust that the next time I wear this. But it's not the end of the world. It's summer. We're looking for warmth in our skin. And I think it does match pretty well. I do think it has a smoothing property, which I have never seen in another like skin tint or light coverage product. A lot of times it leaves my skin, you know, those will leave my skin very dewy, tacky, too glowy um, for my oily skin. And this one does not do that. I will say I 100% recommend pairing this with the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder if you have it from Danessa Myricks. But this does still have good longevity. This one, I get a good eight hours out of it before I really start to see it wear away on my skin. This one sticks around all day. I really do enjoy Danessa Myricks as a brand. I think a lot of her products are really, really beautiful and I've been lucky to try some of them. And this one is one of my absolute favorites. This next one will not surprise you if you've been around for a while. If you're an OG subscriber, how long has this been one of my favorite foundations? This is the L'Oreal True Match Tinted Serum, Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. I have two shades, as I frequently do with my favorite foundations, so that I can mix them together and get my perfect shade any time of year. So I have 0.5 to 2 very light and 2 to 3 light. And these are really beautiful. Again, I'm gonna use my summer shade or my darker shade just so you can see. I feel like it helps y'all to see the coverage. And this one I would say is a solid medium coverage. It is not liquidy and you will see that this one has a little bit of a pearl running through it. But the cool thing about this one is with that hyaluronic acid in this formula, it really is, again, almost gel-like, and it really sets down and stays in place on my skin, which is, again, not always the case with a skin tint or a tinted serum like this one, and I just love this. I love something that can give a glow to my skin without making my skin look oily, and this one definitely does. I do powder all of these, full disclosure, because I, again, I am an oily girl, but I don't think you would have to if you don't have oily skin. It's just really beautiful. I don't find that the pearl in this one emphasizes texture on my skin, where some other ones can do that. For example, the Maybelline Superstay Skin Tint is one of those that, again, has the pearl running through it, but this one either has too much or it's just the formula because I do feel like this one accentuates pores and other texture on my skin, whereas the L'Oreal one does not. I also wanted to mention that I did buy pumps for these from Amazon. They had the dropper bottles and I just don't like that. I don't find it to be very hygienic and it's kind of a pain. And so I did buy these two pumps off of Amazon for a few bucks and I will link them down below for you in case that's one of your favorite foundations too. But again, solid medium coverage, buildable, long lasting and glowy. All right. These last two I did receive in PR Full disclosure as always, and this one is one I really haven't talked about on my channel yet, but it's the Lancome Tonti Doll Ultra Wear Care and Glow Foundation. And I really enjoy this one. I When they sent it to me in PR, I was a little like, oh, Care and Glow, we'll see how it goes. But I find that this one actually does last 
as long on my skin as the original Tanti Doll Ultra Wear Foundation. This has a good amount of coverage, but it is a little bit more hydrating, maybe slightly less coverage than the original foundation. A little bit of a glow to it. It looks hydrated. It's not really a demi matte finish. This is, you know, kind of a natural skin finish. I do have the shade 305N in this one and it's beautiful. I really enjoy this. I was very surprised that I was able to use this, that it was just as long lasting as the original formula. So if you have drier or normal skin and you've always wanted to try one of their Tunty Doll formulas, I highly recommend the Care and Glow. It's really, really beautiful on the skin and again it just works great throughout the day this one also has an spf of 27 whereas the regular one has spf 25 in it of course you always need to wear your sunscreen not just your makeup so i really love this one i'm going to leave this on my hand and we're going to talk about the regular formula because it is a favorite i love this stuff again sent in PR but that just means that I had the opportunity to try it you know I, it's not something I probably would have bought for myself this is the shade 300 in you'll see that it is a little lighter this one oddly enough is a little bit more liquidy feeling than the other one but the thing about this one is that it's quite you know thin it has good coverage this one does like i said have more of a demi matte finish excuse the eczema bumps on the back of my hand i literally have eczema everywhere right now but this is kind of the difference you'll see i think i got a little more product over here i think they have similar coverage when it's all said and done but you'll see this one's not near as glowy or hydrating as the Karen Glow. I love them both. If I'm looking for a more glowy finish, I'll go with the Karen Glow. If I'm looking for a more demi matte finish, I will go with the regular Tunty Doll. But they were both extremely long lasting, comfortable. I love the shade range from Lancome. But it's just one that really... I feel like has a good range, not only in tone, like light to dark tone, but also in undertones. I find that it is pretty spot on for the undertones and I just love this formula. So that my friends are my five foundations that I would keep if I could only keep five. Let me know down below what is your top five, top three, very tippy top favorite foundation. I would be really curious to hear about that. I love all of these foundations. I have a lot more foundations that I love, but these are the tippy top ones that you could not pry from my cold dead hands, which is morbid, but true. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This is the part of the video where I ask you to go ahead and hit the like button if you haven't already and to subscribe for more videos like these as I continue to curate and declutter my collection throughout the year. I follow up with these if I could only keep five videos. So I will have linked below for you my foundation to clutter in case you missed it. I hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful makeup days and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.